is a calculated campaign against minorities. We think that the it's anti-Catholic, anti-Jewish, anti-Negro. This and, is Jackie uh, Robinson view, talking to CBS 8 back in 1964. Man. Negroes were beginning to understand that as long as they were under the influence of a particular party, that they would still get the short end of the stick. Probably not the baseball-wielding sports icon you grew up reading about, huh? But Robinson's legacy is so wide-reaching that almost 40 years later, Kenneth Patterson II from Little Rock, Arkansas, would benefit from a scholarship foundation that changed his entire life for the better, and it was all by accident. Honestly, I didn't know anything about it. Um, Kenneth, or KP as we called him growing up, applied for some other scholarship and just happened to win the Jackie Robinson Foundation Scholarship Award. He went on to become a board member for the foundation because he says it's not often that the group helping to pay for an education also gives hands-on supplemental life tools to prepare their students for success. Whether that's learning how to be better at time management, whether that's learning how to balance a spreadsheet, whatever it is, in addition to the education that they're helping you, uh, helping you get. Like Robinson, KP is an avid golfer in a sport that's also still predominantly white. Jackie might not have been the best African-American baseball player at that time, but he was what was needed because he was the one that was going to do his work, do his job, show up, represent, and then also kind of ignore all of the noise. Everywhere I go, I feel the need to represent his legacy because of what he and his wife, Rachel, have provided me. And it's, we talk about the gifts of time, treasures, and talents, but when you really study the life of Jackie Robinson like I have since being there for 22 years, I've learned a lot more about Jackie. Michael Brunker was the executive director for the Jackie Robinson YMCA in San Diego. Spiritually grounded, he was a family man. Not only was he the first black man to play Major League Baseball, but he also served in the military. Baseball might have been the worst of the four sports that he played. He ran track and field. He played football, basketball, and by the way, he played baseball too. Brunker says Robinson's legacy and life of service was an inspiration to those who inspire. Dr. King once said that because of Jackie Robinson, it made his work easy. And we know there wasn't anything that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did that was easy. You don't measure by how much progress has been made, in my view. I think we have to look at how much further we have to go. CBS 8 interviewed Robinson in 1968 at the height of the civil rights struggle. His words from more than 50 years ago still resonate today. Take a listen. Don't you think that there are being given opportunities for black people and other minorities in jobs and employment and in education that is unprecedented uh, from comparison with the past? Yes, but you still must take a look at the overall picture. Five, six years ago, we were making 58% of what white Americans were making. Today, we're making about 53%. While there is this kind of progress, I don't think that people recognize that the country has made fantastic progress as well, and the Negro has not made uh, proportionate progress as far as jobs, as far as activities, as far as earning a livelihood is concerned. And when it comes to athletes using their platform for social justice issues? Isn't the Negro athlete, however, in uh, the most privileged position virtually of all uh, Negroes along with Negro entertainers? So it behooves him to get involved in the struggle so that those who are not athletes, those who are struggling, it's his responsibility to be involved. Those who have been successful, those who have been fortunate, it is a responsibility to get involved, to help ensure the rights. So when his child comes up and may not have athletic ability, or his friend's child, who may not have this kind of ability, can go as far as he would like to go in some other field.